Hey there, my name is Kendra and we're here at the new studio of ConcertsCanada.tv speaking with the founder and president of the company, Mr. Jan Cooper. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So first of all, I think the audience would like to know a little bit about your background and a little bit about the company. Well, I started 30 years ago. I came in from Toronto um, and I ended up in a major production called Godspell at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Uh, which is a major theater here in which I was in a production with Jeff Hislop who is well known he was in the movie Jesus Christ Superstar. From that point on uh, I was a high school teacher I probably didn't mention that and I taught theater for a number of years mm -hmm. um, and then I joined my own band and I sang with my own rock band for 18 years for corporations and conventions and whatever and then I got bored with that and I decided to become a vocal coach after studying opera for nine years, realizing that opera doesn't fit pop music. Okay, so um, I started uh, studying at Juilliard's during the summer, working mostly with doctors, with speech pathologists and laryngologists. And then I opened my practice and the first group I get is the Grammy Award winning group Loverboy as you may have heard of them. And then the next group was White Snake. I worked with John Sykes and Bob Rock. Uh, he was the producer. And as you know, Bob Rock produced such groups as Metallica, The Cult, uh, Simple Plan. I'm sure you've, mm -hmm. you've heard of Simple Plan and a number of other acts. Um, and so I initially started off as a, as a vocal coach. And how did you get from being a vocal coach to heading a company? You won't believe this. Uh, about 25 years ago, two of my students approached me about going to a, a, a trade show in France in Cannes mm -hmm. uh, called Me Dem. And I showed up there and there was like 20,000 people there. Uh, and I was carrying their music around at that time. It was cassettes, whatever. And uh, I ended up getting them record deals. So I suddenly realized that Bands need representation at these trade shows. So for the last 20 years, I've been going to Meet Down. Mm -hmm. And for the last year, or for the last five years, I've been going to PopCom, which is in Berlin, Germany, representing both Canadian and American artists, unsigned. Well, and yeah. how did that lead into ConcertsCanada.tv? Well, what happened was, uh, as you know, not that many years ago, suddenly the internet popped up, mm -hmm. and I call it Pandora's Box. And from that point on, every band and you name it was showing up on all these websites. And that was exciting, except the biggest problem was is trying to find good artists and good bands. I mean, some, some of the sites have 700,000 bands on there. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to find these groups. So I have an old philosophy, which is uh, quality over quantity, okay? And so I decided that I wanted to have one place where these artists could be seen. And so that's how I came up with the idea. Nice. And maybe you, you could explain to us a little bit about what the company actually is. How is it different from, say, YouTube or MySpace and other musical sites? Well, the, the, first of all, you're making the mistake. It's not a site. It's, oh, it's, okay. uh, it, it's TV channels, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and basically how it differs is that there are going to be 10 channels per country and each channel will represent a genre and then also each channel will either be in German, Italian, French so you get to see mm -hmm. what's going on in every country in this style of in their style of music so what sorts of artists are you looking for realistically we're mostly looking for unsigned artists mm -hmm. ones that are not with record labels or publishing companies and we're also setting up a separate channel for young artists 18 and under and the reason for that is that we want to bring young artists together with songwriters mm -hmm. and so we're hoping songwriters will check out these young people and sort of get an idea wow I can write a song for this young person and then eventually we would put the song and the singer together mm -hmm. and we would have them do a music video, professional music video of the original song and it could be a win situation between the singer and the songwriter. It could be a win-win mm -hmm. situation for both of them. 
And would you allow anybody onto the site or is it selective? No, no, it, we're very selective. There's a criteria where the, the video has to be of a high quality, the sound can't sound like it's in a tin can because there's only going to be a limited number of bands per channel. Yeah, that makes sense. And um, do you know roughly how many artists per channel? We're talking about a, 175 per channel. That's it. There, we, we've come to that conclusion. Yeah. So that they can be seen at least three or four times a week. Okay, so say I am on ConcertsCanada.tv and I look at a video, what sorts of things would I be looking at? Well, the first thing you would see is an interview with the band. So we know what they're about, okay? Then the second thing you'll see is you'll see them in concert, okay? Live, mm -hmm. we can do it live or pre-recorded. And then finally, you will see them promoting their merchandise, their t-shirts, you know, whatever, their, their hats, their CDs, whatever, so they can also make some money at it. Okay, so how could these artists benefit from your channel? Well, here's, here's the unique situation. The TV channels are going to be owned by record companies and publishing companies, so that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Second of all, because I've been going to meet them for 20 years and Popcom for five years, I have this whole network system of record labels and publishers from all around the world, including this year, I got permission from two of the gentlemen from Sony, the heads of Sony Publishing and the head of Stronghold, one of the biggest companies in Europe handling publishing. They allowed me to videotape them, if you can believe it, and, and here's a clip of them. Two gentlemen from Japan uh, with Sony, and uh, they have special positions. What is your position in Sony at this point? I like to supervise so to take care of the Carlton Hotel in the Dam 2010, and we're with two gentlemen that are uh, representing. What company are you representing? It's based on a company outside The other way they can benefit too is that they can tour. That means that basically, when you see them live that the companies will get ideas that they're really good performers and they could end up traveling and touring all over the world. Cool. So this is this is the full package, how they can benefit. So is there a cost? Yeah, there is, but we really haven't figured it out yet, but we really want to keep it low, so we're going to try to get advertisements on there. And we're going to put a lot of the money back into the company to promote the bands through Google Ads and whatever way we can do it. Mm -hmm. So. Again, I, I can't really tell you what the cost will be at this point. Well, thanks, Jan, for coming to speak to Thank us today. Thank you. We wish you the best of luck. Um, if someone was interested in the company, how could they reach you? Well, they can call me directly at 604-261-5026. They can contact me through my email, which is cooperjan2 at gmail.com. They can also contact me through Skype, especially people international. Mm -hmm. So they can contact me at jan.cooper2. And if they want to know more about me, they can check my website, which is www.pumprecords.ca. Thanks for coming, Jan. Thank you for having me.